Hey, Tyler Birds here, gonna show you a quick tip today using Cubase 8.5 and how to set up your MIDI controller using CC data. Now this thing has really, trying to find how to do this is frustrated me, but I just stumbled upon a very, very quick way to do this in Cubase. So let's dive in here. I'm using Cine samples as for the example today, but we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to set this up pretty simple. So let's go into over here on the side, you should see something that's called note expression. Open up this box and as you see here, there's perimeters that you can set. All right, let me go up here, open up uh, this violin. We're gonna go into mapping. All right, now I'm gonna set my mapping here for the short dynamics to CC1. Also, if you see the vibrato controller is CC2 and our bow attack controller is CC9. So all we have to do is go into note expression, click on this because we need CC2. Click there, click learn, find the fader that you want to set on your MIDI controller if you're using a keyboard or a nano control, doesn't matter, any MIDI controller. Use the slider and as you can see it's reading it, unclick learn. Now if I play, bring up the dynamics here, alright. This is probably a bad example since this is Sforzando, but um, <clears throat> let me see, let me, let me do another one. Also, if there's a perimeter here that you can't see, just click here, go to MIDI controller setup, and then you can add what you want to be shown over here. So just click OK, and my MIDI 9 is there. We'll click here again, click learn, move the slider, it sees it. So this one should be a lot easier. Now if you look here, bow attack controller is set to CC9. Right now it says to disable, but when I move my, my fader that I just clicked, we should see it change. So. There we go. That's a very quick tip. Uh, it just saved me a bunch of time, uh, frustration. The only problem is if you have a big template like you see here, you have to go through every track and set that. I know there's quick controls and stuff like that, but this is a pretty easy way that I just found how to do this, uh, very simple. So I hope this helps. Um, if you know an easier way or anything like that, how to set this, please leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.